Hi. Um, the image that, okay. That was me when I was nine months old. And as you can probably tell, I didn't even know how to talk and I was already playing with books. They were just always there for me, you know, ever since I can remember. I actually started playing with plastic books to be read in the bathtub. Pop-up books, books to be touched, books to be smelled, books to be heard, even liquid books to be touched on a screen. Clearly, I'm a reader. I've always been, and I hope that I always will be. It is actually that passion for reading that made me create my blog at the age of 11. I started blogging, well, actually book blogging, since my blog was devoted to books and reading. Since I loved to read, but my friends didn't, I thought that maybe if I could share what I felt when I read, they could feel the same way. So I started reviewing my favorite books, imitating TV programs, talking about these books in my living room and posting them onto YouTube, Basically, just starting a new adventure, having lots of fun, and trying to share my passion. And then, one day, I heard the word booktuber. And so I thought, if a book... I found out what a booktuber was. And so I thought, if a booktuber is a person that posts videos onto YouTube talking about books, then I'm a booktuber. We booktubers have been told to be the net generation, and so we use the net to spread our opinions. And we're trying to turn a private activity into a social one. Just look up on YouTube, booktubathon, booktube, book tags, book challenges, book hauls. You'll find so many things. And that's what we've created, such an amazing community. And a community is a group of people that enjoy one same thing. And that one same thing is reading. So we can clearly say that reading is no longer a private activity. Activity. Now, seeing how much reading has evolved, I can't help but wonder, what will be the next step? How will reading be 20 years from now? Well, I started thinking about it, and imagine if we could have speed reading, that we could read a book in one minute, or that we could combine a digital book with a physical book, and it had the features of the digital book, but inside the physical book, and that the pages resembled paper, but they were actually made of some sort of material that was digital, and you could click the page and it would brighten up in the dark. All those things are amazing, but we don't know if they'll happen, and that's the beauty of the future. We don't, oops, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know, and <laughs> that's what I realized. I don't know what's going to happen. But I am sure of one thing. As long as there are readers willing to devote themselves to any story, the packaging doesn't really matter. I mean, we started from rocks, and now we have digital screens. Who knows what we'll end up with? The important thing is the story inside, the story that will capture any reader and make them fly thousands of meters away from the ground and take them to a place only books can take you to. For instance, I've been to dystopian futures, schools for wizards, the 17th century, and it's even br brought me here. I'm just a cat girl coming all the way from Barcelona, and I'm in New York participating in a TED Youth event with you. So remember, don't forget to read. It's so much fun. Thank you.